75 degrees and sunny, but plenty of wind that is uh, blowing out today. So we'll see how that affects the final game of this series in the first pitch. Yeah, especially at the top of this order, their one through three batters have really struggled, and that is a filthy breaking pitch. And he has worked with a lot of these pitchers as well, uh, playing in the Cape League a couple summers ago. And a good walk there worked by Tucker Moore. He is in full attack mode right now. Bounced in the dirt, Espinal down to second, and just in there is Austin. And the 2-2, curveball high, chopper back up the middle, fielded by Vastein at UMass Lowell, but versatile guy that can play in the outfield. And he takes a walk. Humphrey takes off, the pitch is down, gets past the catcher, Hernandez. Now Vanderbilt has actually left some runs on base. There goes Humphrey again, a throw down to third, a great jump for Humphrey. No, no chance. He had no, had no chance on either one of them. That's a big strikeout for Pimentel to put two on the board in search of their second SEC series sweep this afternoon, and Pimentel hits him. Three balls, no strikes to Holcomb, and that's down and in ball four. He's got a power sinker, so he wants to pitch on the bottom of the zone. This one's hit hard down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. Humphrey will come in to score. Following him is Polk. They're going to wave around Holcomb. And Holcomb is safe. A base is clearing double for Davis Diaz. And Vanderbilt leads it three to nothing in the bottom of the first. And he hits one on the ground towards short, fielded by Cologne. And that will retire the side. And the one two to Cologne. There's that curveball. Second strikeout of the afternoon. Espinal frames it up a little bit, tries to pull it in. And he got him to go around. A one, two, three inning with a couple of strikeouts. Consistency, reliability, Greg. Vanderbilt holds the nation's longest active NCAA tournament streak, 17 years in a row now. Here and there he goes, the conversation more leans to their families and the kids. and That's Hewitt. Laying down a bunt to get on, leadoff man aboard. Call in the field was safe, so you need some clear and conclusive evidence to overturn it. It was uh, bang, bang there at first, though. Back of the Call mitt. Call we'll on get the field at first base has been overturned. The runner is out. Missouri retains their challenge. The SEC tournament. Grounds this one towards short. Fielded by Cologne, and he throws high to first. I mean, if you don't have that defensive backbone at shortstop, it's going to be tough defensively. Austin picked off over at first base. Now we got a rundown here. And Pimentel applies the tag to get out of the inning. Eight, nine, and one due up for Missouri, trying to find some offense against the lefty Carter Holton, who has just been on fire. Hit 285 as a sophomore with 13 home runs and just stares at that curveball. Um, you know, it seems like every year. Wow. One, yeah. two, three, four, five strikeouts in a row, and they finish it off in the throw down to first. Yeah, Coach Corbin has another hit by pitch. Try to create some movement. Espinal not going, and instead it's ball four. Vanny Boys in the major leagues on the opening day rosters. J.J. Bleday out in uh, Oakland. A couple of uh, Pirates. Brian Reynolds was a giant, and then moved over and you could see the reaction by Pimentel that he missed with that fastball in there you go comes back with a slider back door payoff got him out in front shallow left field Jared Curtis makes the grab for the final out of the inning I'm sticking to my process for this week and uh, same preparation and treat them the same as any other opponent if we're playing one another I'm taking myself for sure <laughs> Runner takes off, throw down to second, not in time. That's pretty good. Well, if you're going to be a big league pitcher, you, you got to play golf and you got to figure out your, your ways to get on the road with your sticks. I mean, especially if you're not pitching that, that series. To J.D. Hernandez. And it's grabbed by Austin, throw to second. Nobody covering first. He's got a slider. He really only shows left-handed hitters. Pierre. Lines one out to right center field. Hernandez will go first to third on it. Game here with two outs in the top of the fourth. And this one back up the middle into center field. 
And Hernandez will score the first run of the game. Vanderbilt is really, really good. That's a called strike three. Little delayed call behind the plate, but nonetheless, Calvin Hewitt steps in. He's 0 for 1 today. And he rips one down the third baseline. Another fair ball. And Hewitt will coast into second with a double. That's his fourth of the season. 0 1 to Vastine. And he lines one right off Pimentel. Look out. Throw to first in time to get Vastine. 2 2 now. Chop towards second. Garcia on the backhand. And that will retire the side. Like that one right there, you're going to get jammed or you're going to swing through a fastball. That was hanging a little bit, and Stevens able to poke one to the left field for a base hit. Giving himself up for the team. And he gets it down. It's back to Holton. He'll go to second with it, and they get the out there. He's got no chance of getting the speedy Curtis. Oh, and he throws it away. Holton missed his spot. Austin couldn't do anything with it. No balls, two strikes to Tucker Moore, and a curveball swung on and missed. Eight strikeouts this afternoon for Carter Holton. I went with Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Morad. Espinal, tough play at third. Austin, long throw, a couple hops, too late. Patient, but good fastball, low 90s. Could be two, scooped to Garcia, flipped to first, not in time. Could be one to nothing, Missouri. Swing and a miss. Holcomb goes down. We go on to the top of the sixth inning. Missouri and Trevor Austin looking for some offense. It's just been in command and in on attack. Another routine play for Vastine, two away. To protect that zone from a foul ball. Full count. High chopper back up the middle. Vastine ranges over behind the bag in the first inning of this one. Payoff on the way and a swing and a miss. If hoped or expected in the postseason. It's the 0-2 goes behind Hewitt. And that actually might have got a piece of him there. Real careful when you go up and in. Hewitt takes off. The throw down to second is not in time. I really wanted to be firm in my belief of what the right pitch was that was coming. This one gets away from Cologne at short. Now down to third base goes Hewitt. The call is safe. Gets to third base with two outs. Swing and a miss from Vastine. And Hernandez will throw down to first. Alongside Greg Olson, I'm Sam Ravage. Pleasure to have you along with us. And a chopper over the head of the third baseman off the bat of Cologne. Base hit, leadoff guy on base in seventh inning. Garcia gets the bunt down. Holton's only play is to first, so sacrifice complete. Wake Forest last season helping them get to Omaha in SEC play for him as the one two rolls over the top of it but backhand stop Davis bobbles it for a moment but he's able to keep Cologne at third playing a little bit back and he pops it up on the infield over towards second Davis it's just the last few starts in late April early May that were concerning as RJ Austin takes a four pitch walk Austin takes off, looking for number 17 on the season. The throw comes down. It is ball four. 11 innings pitched, but the D2 level. Both runners take off. Off the end of the bat from Polk and fielded by Garcia. And then it was the three-run RBI double by Diaz to bring them all in. Swing and a miss. That will do it. Takes care of you at first base, and you got a quick one out and one pitch. And that one hit Trevor Austin. Went four for 13 with three RBIs and a double. The payoff here, and he lines one out to center field. That's going to drop in front of Hewitt for a base hit. Tried to get the punch out right here. One, two, and that's behind him, and it gets all the way to the backstop. Austin and Hernandez both advance a base to third and second. Brennan Cyber delivers the payoff. And a called strike three. The more more elevated it gets, it starts running into the waist. This is pounded a mile high. Tough play for Diaz, but he makes it look easy again. 3-2. Hit on a line out to right center field. Make it four hits now for Vanderbilt. And the second of the day for Davis Diaz. Man, just one more run would make this feel like a big cushion. That one down in the dirt. Easy advance. 
He leads the team in strikeouts. And a Baltimore chop to the mound. Magdish to first. And that will do it. Get anything across the plate. 3-2 and a called strike three. Let it break back over the plate, but... Leg kick, full effort. Mm, that was placed just like perfectly. That. Focused on the hitter. This one he is. On the ground towards third, and that will do it. Vanderbilt sweeps Missouri at home. It's their second SEC sweep.